Let us read some verses, or all of the verses. If you're there, say Amen. amen. Let's read responsibly. I'll read verse 1, you read verse 2. Therefore, my brethren, dearly beloved, and long for my joy and crown, so stand fast in the Lord, my dearly beloved. And I entreat thee also, true young fellow, help those women which labored with me in the gospel, with Clement also, and with other my fellow laborers whose names are in the book of life. Let your moderation be known unto all men, the Lord is at hand. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. I believe that the so things are true, whatsoever so things are honest, whatsoever so things are just, whatsoever so things are pure, whatsoever so things are lovely, whatsoever so things are good in the world, if there be any virtue, and if there be any grace, think of all these things. Those things which ye have both learned and received and heard and seen in me, do, and the God of peace shall be with you. Not that I speak in respect of one, for I have learned in whatsoever state I am therewith to be content. Through Christ, which strengtheneth me. Now ye Philippians know also that in the beginning of the gospel, when I departed from Macedonia, no church communicated with me as concerning giving and receiving, but ye only. For even in Thessalonica, he said once and again unto my necessity, not because I desire a gift. But I desire fruit that may abound to your account. Let us read together the verses. But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Now unto God and our Father be glory forever and ever. Amen. Salute every saint in Christ Jesus. The brethren which are with me greet you. All the saints salute you. Chiefly they that are Caesar's household. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. This month we have been visited by many preachers. Amen. So we have we we are we have we have been catering these missionaries. We pay for their fare. We treat them. We give them love gifts. We support them. And maybe sometimes, you know, this flesh will be tired and wonder why we should. Mga nagtataka kayo, ah, pwede bang tangihan sila? Bakit every time na may tatawag, tatanggapin natin sila? Mamahalin natin sila, brethren? Because the Philippian Church is our example. Amen? Amen. The Philippian Church is our example. A mission-loving church. Amen? The, the Philippian Church is a mission-loving church. Church, the Philippian Church is our example, and and before before I share the points about these things, I just want you to realize that this Philippian Church is a normal church. They are no extraordinary church. They are not a rich church. Maybe you might ask, and Pastor, maybe they are a rich group of people. Maybe the Philippian believers they can they can send support, they can cater the Apostle Paul's need because they are a rich church. I want to. I want to introduce to you who are the Philippian believers. Open your Bibles to the book of 2 Corinthians chapter number 8. 2 Corinthians chapter number 8. These are the, Corinthian, the, the Philippian believers. 2 Corinthians chapter 8. 
Ready? Go. Verse number one. Of the grace of God bestowed on the churches of Macedonia. How that in the great trial of affliction, the abundance of their joy and their deep poverty abounded in the riches of their liberality. There is a group of churches. Are you with me now? The Bible tells us on verse 1, I do you, I bestow, uh, I do you to wait of the grace of God bestowed on the churches of Macedonia. There are certain churches that Paul was mentioning to the Corinthian believers. Corinth church, the churches in Corinth are one of the richest people in Christianity that time. Are you with me? Uh, Corinth is a progressive city. And he was talking to these people that are well of a believer, believers of Christ, that them, I want you to witness the grace of God in the certain churches of Macedonia. Who are these Macedonian churches? One of those Macedonian churches are the Philippian believers. Let me read to you some truths. In 356 BC, King Philip of Macedonia, the father of Alexander the Great, took this town and expanded it, renaming it Philippi. The Romans captured it in 168 BC. And in 42 BC, the defeat of the forces of Brutus and Cassius by those of Antony and Octavian, later called Augustus, took place outside the city. Octavian turned Philippi into a Roman colony and a military outpost. The citizens of this colony were regarded as citizens of Rome and given a number of special privileges. Because Philippi was a military city and not a commercial center, there were not enough Jews for a synagogue when Paul came. Paul's Macedonian call when he was dreaming in Acts in Troas during his second missionary journey led to his ministry in Philippi with the conversion of Lydia and others. Paul and Silas were beaten and imprisoned, but this resulted in the conversion of the Philippian jailer. The magistrates were placed in a dangerous position by beating Roman citizens without a trial. And that embarrassment may have prevented future reprisals against the new Christians in Philippi. Paul visited the Philippians again on his third missionary journey in Acts chapter 20. You could find that. When they heard of his Roman imprisonment, the Philippian church sent Epaphroditus with financial help. They had helped Paul in this way on at least two other occasions. Epaphroditus almost died of an illness, yet remained with Paul long enough for the Philippians to receive word of his malady. Upon his recovery, Paul sent this letter back with him to Philippi. So, nakita po natin, Philippian church is not a commercialized city. They live in a place where military uh, uh, troops are there. Hindi ho sila mayaman. And here we can find that it was the Apostle Paul who started the ministry. When the Apostle Paul were there, there are already believers, but he was the one to organize these people. Okay? But he's not the pastor of the Philippian church. The si Apostle Paul po ay hindi pastor ng Philippian church. Siya po ay missionero. He is an evangelist. And Paul, when he went out, he left the Philippian church and somebody took over for the pastorate. So what we can find here, the Philippian church is not an extraordinary church in the sense that they are just normal believers. They are not rich people. And yet, they can be an example on how we treat these men of God coming in our church. Amen? They are not looking at you, hindi ho sila. Tingnan niyo po, verse number 2. Chapter 4, Philippians chapter 4. Ready, go. I beseech you, Diaz, and beseech Sintiki, that they be of the same mind in the Lord. May nagkakatampuhan din sa kanila. Si Yudias at saka si Sintike. Dito, sino? Huwag <laughs> sana. Pero I mean, even in their time, there are misunderstandings. That's normal. Huwag lang yung mag-aaway tayo, magpatawarin tayo. I mean, the Philippian church is a church that shows us that it's hindi ko perfect yan. It's not a perfect church. The Philippian church is a normal church. The Philippian church is a poor church. Are you with me? The Bible tells us, even in their deep poverty, the Macedonian believers are helpers. They even help the Jerusalem church about the need in 2 Corinthians chapter 8. 
So you can find it. And, and, and the Philippian believer is, the Philippian churches are soul winning church. They are a soul winning church. Verse number three. And I entreat thee also through your fellow. Help. Are you there? Amen. Ready? Go. And I, and I entreat thee also through your fellow. Help those women which labored with me in the gospel. With Clement also and with other fellow laborers whose names are in the book of life. They are helping, almost even asking them, support the lady preachers. Not the lady preachers, but the lady missionaries. You support those women that labor with me in the gospel. Amen? Praise God. Now, wala na si Pati Malosa doon. Ano yung babaeng missionary? Ano? So, uh, may mga kumuna pagsusupport na. And, uh, and, and you can find here that they are an example church. And Paul was telling them that, 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 that let your moderation, let your self-control be, be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. So brethren, the Philippian church is an example church. And I want to encourage you, hindi man natin sila imitate We don't have to imitate them. We just have to obey the Lord. But I want to encourage you that the presence of the preachers here, the evangelists from all over the world, coming here in our churches is a great privilege. Amen. The Lord blesses a church who loves missions. Uh, That's the work of the ministry. The work of the church is to go into all the world and preach the gospel. We might not reach the lands of Cambodia. We might not reach the land of Africa. But praise the Lord, someone who went there was able to visit our church to share the burden of the Lord. And so we can partner with them. Uh, those pictures at the back, folks, listen to me. Those pictures at the back are waiting for some members to take their pictures. Uh, and go to Sister Janet and tell Sister Janet, I want to support this missionary. Amen. Amen. When I be blessed, let's study these three things. Let us study these three things. Number one, I want you to see that the Philippian church care for the missionaries. Verse number 10. Verse number 10. Read it. Ready, go. But I rejoice in the Lord greatly. That now at the last, your care of me hath flourished again. Wherein you were also careful, but ye lack opportunity. Wala kasing sipwana noon. There is no sipwana padala. There is no remittance center. If you want to send money to abroad, somebody must go abroad. If you want to send money to, to Achaia, somebody must go to Achaia. If you want to, 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 to send uh, money to the prison, somebody has to visit Paul in the prison cell. And it was Epaphroditus. Don't Paul sacrifice pa sila noon. Tayo, abot mo lang kay Sister Janet. Sister Janet, ipadala sa mga mo. I-email lang yung busy cleaning house. Abot mo lang kay Sister Chini. Sister Chini, magpadala sa Cebuana. Kunin ng mga local missionary natin. It is easier now to partner with them. But beyond it, oh, above the money that we send, it should be the caring heart of the church. I want our church to be a mission-loving church. Are you with me now? Yeah. Every time they say it is a privilege to cater to them. It's a privilege to, to, to feed them, to prepare for them. Uh, you know, my house, I, we are now finding a new uh, house for rent. Kasi nagbabanggaan na kami, 30 square meter na mo yung aming tinitirahan. Tapos ang dami-dami ng mga gamit ni Ro, na nagkakabanggaan kami sa bahay. <laughs> Sabi ko, sana merong mas malaki kahit konti para namang medyo maluwag-luwag. Pero I owe, as I find a place for rent, I would not get a one-bedroom. I would always want a two-bedroom house. Hindi mo ako maarte. Kasi kahit sa sahig, kaya ko matulog at ang unan ko'y wala. But I want a house that has a room for missionaries. That's one of my heart. I love missionaries coming into our house. I always tell them, come and sleep in our house. We prepare the Vietnamese missionary from Vietnam. We will fetch him from the airport. And I ask them, do you want to stay in our house? It is a privilege for me to take care of them. Amen? Amen. God wants a church that cares for the missionaries, that cares for the evangelists, that cares for the preacher, that cares for the pastor, that cares for the men of God. Kaya nga ho, pangarap ko, mapaganda itong ating mga 
waktu para melo sila tutulungan dito eh. Ha? Kaya sabi ko, hindi na, dapat two bedroom para yung isang kwarto para sa missionary. Amen? You know, missionary John Coronel, when he when he stayed in our house, we had a good time of fellowship. Ang sarap-sarap po nang gano'n, yung kwarto ninyo. Pastor, pag meron tayong missionary, meron kaming isang kwarto dyan, pwede niyang matulugan. Amen? Pagluto nyo, pakainin nyo, ano po, at bigyan nyo ng lapit kung meron po wala, okay na. But one thing is sure, God will bless and love a church that loves His preachers. Yeah. Amen? Look at the Philippine <laughs> church. They are poor church. They are poor church. But look, their care was known of the Apostle Paul. Missionary Charity Mang message me. I want to read it to you for you. Uh, pati si missionary day, it's like message na rin. Magpapit na rin na upa. Look, Pastor, salamat po. Thank you for your leadership. You have amazing church with amazing people. We are very grateful with my wife for your ministry. Amen? Amen. We're not a rich church. Hindi tayo yung may mga malalaking building at meron silang kwarto. But one thing is sure, we care for these men of God. Amen? Amen. And members, I want to put that good burden in your heart. Love these men of God. Pray for them. Pray for your missionary. Pastor, ako, wala pa yun. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We still have 13 on board. 13 on board. Pray, Lord, let me support. Bakit hindi, Pastor, hindi ko pa kasi kilala to. Picture lang. Ah, si Sir Janet, si Sir Janet, sino ba to? Ayan. Para, I want to support 300 per month to this missionary. Care for them. They need your prayers more than your support. They need you to pray for them. They need you to... Alam nyo, yung iba na nakatakot. Sa Vietnam, hindi ganun kadali. Masarap mo doon, pero hindi ko ganun kadali. Lalo na doon sa mga lugar na talagang bawal sa China. In China right now, it is so dangerous. It is so dangerous. The government is shutting down churches. There was a, there was a post last time. Kinontra ko ba? A sort of fake news yan. Kasi okay. Sometimes on Facebook, you can find some posts. Yung sinunong, na kristyano, hupad. You would find posts like that, that the Christians are persecuted, they were burned at stake. Don't always believe, always find the article and don't decide if it's reliable or not. And so every time kasi, so, ako naman ang mali ko, hindi ko binasa ng maigi. Sabi ko, Pastor, fake news po yan. Nag-rip tayo, Pastor. Pastor, sabi niya ganun, I have friends right now that were imprisoned in China because of sharing the gospel. And right now, it is hard to share the gospel. We have a missionary going there. Meron naman kumuha kay missionary Andrada? Andrade? Andrada? Meron na. Somebody has taken the picture of missionary Andrada. Our missionary going to China. A place in the Chinese territory with Muslims living. Are you with me? Chinese Muslims. So, I mean, brethren, listen to this. It is good that our church will care for them. Amen. Our mission's confidence is for them. I want not just our church, but other churches to have that burden that as we exist on earth and as God blesses us, we will care for these missionaries. Amen. They have given their life for the Lord and we will take care of them. Uh, Praise the Lord for that. Praise God. God has given us two foreign preachers. <laughs> no, no, a preacher and a missionary. Uh, Sister Ashley uh, went from the States and tried to live here. Uh, uh, hindi ko madali yung mga dagana. Ako nga yung, when I lie down there and I hear, <laughs> ako nakakatulog. Saka ko may tumutulog. Nilak ko na yan, nilak ko na yan. Lahat yung panadaga. <laughs> Diyan, sa loob. But praise the Lord, she gave her life to God. Yeah. Amen. They have to be taken care of. Amen. You pray for them. Even evangelist John, he might have some uh, amount to pay for his house. But as a church, we have to care for him. Yeah. We have to. Alam niyo ko, yung evangelist, hindi na sana natin nakikita dito. He should have been gone and just stayed there because he was sent out already. But still, they wanted to stay with us for a while. And they want to worship with us for a while. You pray for them. Yeah. Amen? And take care of them. This mission-loving church cares for the missionaries. Amen? Uh -huh. Number two, 
This mission loving church communicates with the missionaries. Amen. Verse 14. Verse 14. Are you there? Notwithstanding, ready, read. Notwithstanding, ye have well done that ye did communicate with my affliction. Just go back from verse number 11. Ready, read. Not that I speak in respect of one, for I have learned in whatsoever state I am therewith to be content. The preachers that are visiting us, my, they, don't, they, they are not there for money. If they are for money, why will you go there? Pastor Boy, Madrike, our speaker does prayer meeting. Yung kumuha ni Pastor Kubarubias. Diba? Uh, wala nang buhok. Pastor Boy, Madrike, is a pastor of a big church in Binyan, Laguna. If he just want money, why will he, sur why will he surrender for ministry? If Sister actually wants money, why she will go here? You see, it's not the funds. Pastor Boy, Madrike, surrendered for Nepal. The Apostle Paul was telling them, I speak not because of one. It's not about funds, folks. The, the Apostle Paul said, it's not about love if why they are here. Maybe some, but not most of them. Most of them, if not all, gave their lives to reach the world for Christ. And they have learned how to be hungry and how to be full. Look at the words of the Apostle Paul. Verse number uh, uh, 12. I know both how to be abased and I know how to abound. Everywhere and in all things I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry. Both to abound and to suffer me. I can do all things through Christ which is strengthening me. Notwithstanding, pero, sabi niya, ye have well done. Some of those preachers, what is 300 for them? Are you with me? What is 300 for them? They have, some of them have has more, but it's not about the one. It's about the communication with it. It's the partnership. Amen? Do you 300 lang? Uy, maliit pa yun. Ano? How about others? I don't know how much I did give for missions. Nabigay na ba, Chief? Yung sa akin? Yung, ah, meron na rin ba kayo ng one whole year? Oo. Later, bibigay nila sa inyo. Nang naibigay lang nila doon siya yung sa rin. Eh kasi parehas lang naman yun eh. Ang naibigay ko sa rin sa buong taon ay 50 plus thousand. That's my my rent vow. At ganun din naman yung aking mission vow. That's what I have given doon po sa ating uh, mission support at sa ating uh, rent. Okay? Are you with me now? But that is nothing compared to the needs of missions. Yun lang visa nila, yun lang pagkain nila, but it's okay. One thing is, I have partnered with them. Amen? Huh? We partner with them. So brethren, I hope you do not forget the truth. The Philippian church is a partnering church. They are not a selfish church. When we give our tithes and offerings, when we give our tithes and offerings, we give it individually and we get the blessing individually. Are you with me now, Christians? Hello? Pag nagbigay ako ng tithes, pag nagbigay ako ng offering, binigay ko yan individual, babalik sa akin ng Panginoon individual ng pagpapala. But when we support missions, you might sponsor one missionary, but brethren, listen to this. We give it as a church. I don't put your names on the list. Hindi ko sinabi na, oh, Brother Michael said to you, missionary, no. Society Bible Baptist Church of Manila sent 2,700 for missionary Flor Solomon of Japan. You see, we give as a church. And so then, we get miracles from God as a church. We get miracles from God as a church as we take care of these missionaries, as we love them, as we partner with them. God sees our partnership. Amen? Verse number 15. Now ye Philippians, know also that in the beginning of the gospel, when I departed from Macedonia, are you with me? No church, what? Communicated with me as concerning giving and receiving. But ye only. For even in Thessalonica, 
He is sent once and again unto my needs, unto my necessity. Are you there? Verse 17. Not because I desire a gift, but I desire fruit that may abound your heart. Verse number 18. But I have all and abound. I am full, having received of a proper life the things which were sent from you, an odor of a sweet smell, a sacrifice acceptable, well pleasing to God. Because our, we are in a third world country. That's why our giving, even though we give our tithes and offerings, is not that much. That's why we have this faith promise offering. Just like the Philippine believers, we are not rich. Just like the Philippine believers, they are poor. But they are able even to help the Jerusalem church in 2 Corinthians chapter 8. I tell you, cheerful givers are not limited by poverty. And so even we are living in a poor country, we have, we, we've got that way to support these missionaries, to communicate with them. And you know what the Bible tells us? A sacrifice, well, you see, are you with me now? Because we get our mission band more than our tithes. I give 30% of everything that I have from the Lord. And sometimes I should sacrifice for that. But it's okay. It is well pleasing unto God. Yeah. Are you with me? Yeah. This mission giving church, this mission loving church communicates to the Apostle Paul despite of the sacrifice that they are doing. Are you with me? It was acceptable unto God. It was their sacrifice and it was their submission unto God. Tingnan po natin sa 2 Corinthians chapter 8. 2 Corinthians chapter 8. 2 Corinthians chapter 8. If you're there, say Amen. Amen. I speak not by commandment, but by occasion of the forwardness of others and to prove the sincerity of your love. Verse 5. And this they did, not as we hope, but first gave their own selves unto the Lord and unto us by the will of God. Their mission support, hindi huli na sobra yun. Now praise God for rich churches there are some churches that with just the tithes, they can pay everything, even the support of their pastor. But as poor as these Philippian believers, they have to make their sacrifice. Amen? Though in their deep poverty, it abounded unto the riches of their liberality. And the Bible tells us, Paul know it, it was your sacrifice, well pleasing unto God. It was your submission unto God. Dahil nagpasakop sila sa Panginoon, sabi, binigay muna nila ang sarili nila sa Diyos at saka sa amin nila naglilingkod sa Panginoon. Because of their submission to God, they are willing to sacrifice. Amen? Now, I, I challenge you folks, we still have 13 missionaries who don't have monthly support. Sacrifice, tanggalin ko muna yung soft drinks ko o yung uh, mga nilalagay ko sa mga kung ano naman yan. Whatever we can sacrifice just to have what? You mga young people, I encourage you, you ask somebody, oh, hindi ko kaya yung today, Andre. You young people, pag kayo naman talaga kumuha ng picture, supportahan nyo naman. Yung iba kasi nagsapasama, hindi naman ang support. Pinagtulong-tulungan nyo pa. What? Yung talagang sure na hindi hindi ho ito sa pinita. It's not by force. You have the free will to, to pray and to grow. But if you want really to be a part, young people, Pastor, I can only give 100. Pastor, I can only give 100. Di, maganap ka ng kasama mo. Kausapin mo si Simon. O, oh, sabi ni Simon, kaya ko lang 20. Okay lang yan. Basta pagsama-samahin natin every month. And then let's sponsor one missionary. Amen? Amen. Are you with me now? Amen. So pray for that. A sacrifice well pleasing unto God. And God, number three, which is the last, you can see that this church, a mission-loving church, has a consolation from God. A consolation from the Lord. Despite of their sacrifice, you read, verse number 19, but, you see that word but, that means it's positive, but because there is beauty there, that means there was a negative thing. Not negative, that as negative, but there was a sacrifice. 
Yes, you were sacrificing. The Apostle Paul said, but my God shall supply all your need. That's a consolation. Yeah. That's a comfort. Nakakapagod din kaya, you know? Sometimes when we need some funds to for the rent, I could just have asked Sister Janet and Sister Chini, can we just use the mission fund to pay the rent? But no, we don't have to. We have to sacrifice for the rent and never use the fund for the missionary for the rent. Isa na hihirap natin ng emergency pero binabalik agad natin. At ayoko naman mangyari yun kaya gusto ko i-challenge kayo ngayon. We don't use the mission fund for others. The mission fund is for the missionaries. Are you with me? Hello? But those who are willing to sacrifice, as a church we do, do you know that? Bilang isang gawain ko, isa nagsasacrifice tayo. Kasi pwede naman natin gamitin sa iba yan. Pwede naman natin pandagdag sa iba. Alam niyo, ito nagpramis ako sa Panginoon, may magtatides pa ng iba, matadagdag tayo sa tides. Parang sana sa amin yun eh. Kaya nang nagpray ako, sabi ko, Lord, maraming members last year hindi nakapag-support. Nabaon tayo, ang dami nating support na hindi naibigay. Pero this is my prayer, Lord, kahit mawala mo na yung blessing ng mga hindi nakapagbigay ngayon, pero yung church hindi dapat mawala ng blessing. So sabi ko, magkakaroon tayo ng tithes na dapat para sa mga workers na may kakasal tong isa. Baka balut na lang ang pagkain sa kasal mo. Then, siya pala. Sabi ko, Lord, pag pumasok yung pera sa tithes, puunahin namin yung missionaries. We will give it to the missionaries. Amen? Amen. Bakit eh, God can provide our needs? It might be a sacrifice, but it is well-pleasing unto God. Why? Look, there is a consolation. That in every sacrifice, there is consolation from God. Do you remember that door? I will always remember that door. It was a sacrifice. I, I, I did. Siguro si Sister Glenn ako makusap sa akin doon. Nung may dalawa tayong speaker pa, may dumating yung pinto. Yung Amerikano, si Dale, at saka, saka si Missionary Tabanao. Pasto ang lalagay pang ba natin yung dalawa? Do, will we give love gifts? Magkano yung tithes? 5,000. Isa na wala akong iuwi ah. 5,000 at dalawa speaker. Wala na kaming iuwi. Sabi ko, sige, iuwi mo na. And we sacrifice that. Pagdating naman ng isang brother mo, oh, Pastor, magkano yung pito? Magbigay ako ng 27,000. Can you imagine that? That is a consolation from the Lord. But my God shall, before that, but my God shall supply, there was a sacrifice. And yet, God shall supply. That is what we call consolation. Amen? Ang ibig sabihin nun, our labor is not in vain. Ito, itong isasacrifice natin itong papasok na tithes. May mga papasok ngayon na tithes. Inbis na gamitin natin, ibibigay natin sa mga missionary na hindi na supporta. Ah. I tell you, God will give us another consolation. But my God shall supply all your need. Can you imagine now? Can you remember the times? Kung di naman itong tayo na nagdagan ng mga millionaire members, Tayo-tayo pa rin ang nagkikita sa finance. Ah. Praise God, nandito na sila Sister Nenya. Praise God, nandito na yung mga bagong sila RJ. Wala naman mga kuwang ko na dumating dito. But can you remember the time na may bathtub dyan? There was a bathtub there before. This is actually here. Because there are uh, raindrops all over. And you don't see paint, you don't see clear floor. You don't see beautiful uh, CR na kailangan na ma-repair yung bawal. At iba ma! You see? And we continue to sacrifice for missions. And you know what? The consolation of God. These things! Naka-ergo na tayo. Hindi mo nyo ba naaalala nung ang init-init dito yung... Kaya, we started 7 a.m. before. We started 8 a.m. Why? Because we don't... We, we want to escape the noon time. Because it's too hot! Huh? But right now, may ko na tayo. What more God can do? Amen? Those are consolations from the Lord. Church, do not forget that God loves a mission-loving church. Amen. We will continue to support these men of God. We will continue to love these missionaries. We will continue to exist as a mission-loving church. Amen? Amen. The care that they show for the missionaries, the communications that they have, the partnership, last 
the consolation from the Lord. But my God shall supply all your need. So one day we will be needing a property in Manila. Ay, it is so expensive. But our God shall supply all our need. Amen? Let us all stand up, please, and pray.